This is a video introduction for instructors and teaching assistants on the setup and usage of the CSE WebGrader system, developed by the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. In this video, we'll assume familiarity with the CSE web handin available at the following URL. The CSE web handin allows you to manage classes and enrollment and to specify assignments that students can hand files in under. You can set due dates and closure dates, as well as many other features. The WebGrader is a companion system that allows you to expose any grading scripts to students through a secure web interface. It uses CSE authentication, so students can only grade their own materials. Students can hand in new source files and rerun the grader at any time. The WebGrader also provides an instructor TA interface that allows you to grade any student in the course. Using the CSE WebGrader for your course has many benefits. Students can grade, hand in, and regrade until they've perfected their programs. It greatly reduces common errors in compiling, configuration, and builds. It also gives grading a greater transparency and immediate feedback to students. This has the effect of improving grades overall. Finally, time and resources devoted to grading are greatly reduced. There are some limitations, however. Only assignments that lend themselves to automated evaluations really benefit from the web grader. If you have written work, research papers, or other artifacts that cannot be automatically graded, then the web grader will be of limited use. Furthermore, the web grader is not a debugger. It only provides black box testing. Unless you expose your scripts and test cases to the students, they'll only know that their programs failed, not why they failed. As a result, students may become overly reliant on it. There is a risk that they don't do proper local testing and debugging on their own. Finally, there's the upfront cost of developing the grading scripts and test cases. However, this upfront investment tends to pay off big time when actually grading. To get started, you'll need to request a course account. Contact your instructor or you can email manager at cse.unl.edu directly. You'll then need to set up the web handin. The web handin exports several files that are necessary for the proper functioning of the WebGrader system. You can clone the WebGrader application from GitHub in your public HTML directory using Git. Let's take a look. To demonstrate, I'll be using the CSE155H account. You will need to make the appropriate changes when you set up the account for your course. After setting up WebHandin, the following files should be there. Let's go ahead and create our public HTML directory. And go into it. Now we can run the git command to clone the project. Upon success, a new directory grade should be there. We can now go to any web browser and type in the appropriate URL. And the web grader has been set up. A few more things will need to be done. First, some permissions will have to be changed on two different directories. This and other instructions can be found in the readme file. In particular, in the configuration file, there are several options that can be set. The most important options will be the names of the script that will get run when a student grades themselves. In particular, the default is grade.php. A separate script is run for the grader interface. Grade.team.php is the default here. You'll need to change these if you want to name your script something else. In addition, we've provided a script to kill any long-running or resource-intensive process. For example, if a student turns in code with an infinite loop, or a program with a fork bomb in it, or something similar. We don't want these long-running processes running on CSE interfering with other processes. In the directory process killer, there's a script to do this for you, but also an example cron tab on how to set this up. This will run the process killer script every five minutes. To install this cron tab, you simply need to type the following. Cron tab flag edit. This uses the VI editor. To simply start typing, type A, and now you can start typing. I'll cut and paste what we had before with an appropriate change to the class number. To save this, press escape colon WQ. You can list your new cron tab by typing crontab L. 
In addition to the user interface for students, there's also a user interface for graders. Simply include grader.php at the end of the URL. Here you can use the password for the course account, along with a student name that you want to grade. We've included several example scripts written in PHP for grading programs. They can be found in the examples directory. I've set these up under our hand in directory to demonstrate. First from a student perspective, I'll go ahead and grade myself on assignment one. I haven't turned anything in yet. This is what a student will see if they attempt to grade themselves without having turned something else in. To demonstrate further, I've turned in solutions for all of these programs. Now when I come back here and regrade, the results are displayed. The expected output appears on the left hand side, their program output appears on the right hand side. Multiple test cases can be provided for multiple programs. On the grader interface, we can select the student to grade, and similar results will be displayed. However, included in the instructor TA interface, the source code is displayed so that you can further grade on style or other elements. The example grading files provided are written in PHP and provide a framework for defining pre and post commands and test cases and test suites. However, you don't have to use them. You can write your grading scripts in any language that you want. These are merely provided as a useful starting point, if you wish. However, your scripts can and should produce an HTML formatted response so that it displays properly in any browser. Using the web grader has many benefits for your course. The best practice is to have your scripts programmed and debugged and ready to go far in advance. Students will be more likely to use this tool if you give them a de demonstration on the first day of class or in the first lab. You should also have a dummy hello world assignment ready to go for ca account troubleshooting. You could also incorporate the workflow of turning something in and grading it using the web grader and the web hand in into your labs. Consult the readme file for further information. Otherwise, we welcome feedback and improvements.